Hey guys, here we are. It's a Sunday, Sunday afternoon, late morning, a full day of eating. Uh, running a little late today actually, but anyway, I decided I'm gonna have some pancakes, some protein pancakes, pumpkin as you can probably already tell. But what I put in this is one serving of uh, Hungry Jack Wheat Blends Complete Pancake Mix. Just one serving is 44 grams. And there's the facts for that. And then I also put in one serving of Infinite Labs Whey Isolate uh, Vanilla. One serving of that. I put one serving of Libby, Libby's uh, Pure Pumpkin. That's just to help keep it moist because if you don't have it in there, I mean, you can use a banana or some applesauce is what I've used in the past as well. But I find the, the pumpkin works the best. And we'll add one egg white to this as well. And of course, you gotta have the pumpkin pie spice. They're making pumpkin protein pancakes. But then over here, I have two egg whites in my uh, KitchenAid mixer here. They're gonna fluff that up, and then we're gonna fold the egg whites into this this mixture here. So stay tuned. I can't use one hand for this, so I'll see you when it's all set up. Okay, I got the mixture here all mixed up. I added. I forgot to mention. You add some water to this. You just want to add enough to make it, you know, kind of like a cake, cakey mix here, you know, cake mix type thing. Nice and easy. And then I got my egg whites all fluffed up to a peak. So we're going to take these then and put them in here and just fold them right in nice and easy. And they'll actually, that will, the egg whites fluffed will help make your pancakes rise much nicer. I also added, uh, I forgot to mention, some baking powder or whatever, baking soda, whatever it was, in here as well. But, yes, I will get the egg whites folded into here, and then I'll show you guys the finished product. It should yield about, um, probably 10 pancakes, depending on how big you make them. When I make this, usually I get about 8 to 10, a nice, nice size stack. So I'll see you guys when my lunch slash breakfast, or brunch I guess, is done. Here's the pancakes. I just put four on the my griddle electric griddle here. As you can see, about the decent size pancake. There's only four. Usually, I fill the whole thing up. But here's the rest of the mixture right there. And yeah, so I'm gonna flip these, and I will see you when everything is truly done for lunch. All right, guys, we're back here. My whole lunch slash breakfast just got combined to one big meal. Um, we have my protein pancakes over here, pumpkin. There's about 10 pancakes there, two nice uh, huge stacks there. Um, they're really fluffy. They're, they're, they're good. They're good. I'm going to probably top them with either some chocolate syrup or some maple syrup. Maybe one of each. Who knows? Then I have some egg whites here. About two and a half servings of green beans that I fried up. A huge ham steak. Huge ham steak. Which is the hat filled honey ham steak. This is good. About 330 calories for the whole thing, if I remember correctly. So I have one of these uh, cinnamon raisin English muffins. I mean, look at that. It just smells so good. Look at that money shot. Oh my gosh. I wish I had some jelly to put on there, but I don't. But those English muffins I got yesterday, right here. They were buy one, get one free. I got two packs. I put the other one in my freezer. I don't know how long it's going to take for me to get to it, but I mean, the nutrition facts on these are actually not bad. They're really good. One gram of fat, 29 carbs, and four grams of protein for 140 calories. I've, it's been so long since I had these. These cinnamon raisins are probably the best ones they have. They do make pumpkin for like, you know, Thanksgiving seasonal times. And Christmas, they have a seasonal one as well. I forget what that flavor is, but yeah. And then also with my lunch slash breakfast, get a peek at the fridge, my Ben and Jerry bowl uh, filled with pears and some red velvet uh, protein powder. So good. That's my lunch and breakfast combined. I, I know I said I wasn't going to be fasting anymore, but with the way this morning went and everything, that's just the way it came out. No big deal. I was going to have uh, what I'm eating now for, for dinner, but I decided to switch it so as you can see my two meals combined about 1238 calories 
most of my protein from the day will be from this meal. Fats are where they want to, where I want them to be, about 15. Carbs are very heavy. Um, this is what I have left for the to play with for the rest of the day. My fats were only like four grams left, but I switched some things around so I have more to play with. So I'm really focusing on getting this up and filling this up to 400 is usually where it's at to get the 3,200 calories. This we have will just be what it is since it's high enough. So I imagine it's probably getting the 260s once I start adding more stuff. But yeah, that's that's dinner. So I'm that's lunch, I should say. I'm freaking starving, but there's other things. There's other things, other goodies. Um, where did I put them? Oh yeah, here. Ah, pop tarts all over the floor. But I got these. I found these yesterday as well. Limited edition wild berry bloom pop tarts. Found these at Target. There they are. I might have one of these later. Probably. I mean, I have the room for it, obviously. Oh man, my other pop tarts are just flying out. And... Oh, pop tarts. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. And M and M's are in the freaking sink, and Muddy Buddy's in the freaking sink. Look at all the stuff I got in there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But yeah. All right. <laughs> I think that's really the only cool stuff I got. Oh. What am I saying? What am I saying? We forgot. The freezer, right? The freezer. Yesterday uh, was the last day for this Hagen Doss and Edie's deal. Hagen Doss, if you bought, you had to buy four um, of Hagen Doss and Edie's, and they were buck eighty-seven a piece. So I got slow churned Edie's cookies and cream. The Hagen Doss, I'll get to in a second here. Where's the other one? Oh yeah, there it is. So much I can't find it, and I got Fudge Tracks, uh, half fat Edies. But the thing is, oh, this is for the girlfriend. She loves this. I found this at Walmart again because we couldn't find it for a while. But anyway, I had uh, coupons for these for gel the the Hagen Dazs gelatos. Buy one get two dollars off. So if I would have bought, so since I bought two Edies and two Hagen Dazs for a buck eighty seven a piece, that was the deal. You had to buy four to get one eighty seven for each one. That means I got these two Hagen Dosses, two dollars off. So they, I got these for free, plus twenty six cents off my overall bill of the ice cream. So that's pretty freaking awesome. I'm looking forward to trying these two. Never had them, so yeah. All right. I also I also picked this up too. There's only one there. I never had it. It's been a while since I've seen it. I've seen it before, and then it was gone for almost eight months. And I found I saw it just sitting there all by itself. So I had to pick that up too. And there's the other pack of cinnamon raisin. But yeah, I'm going to get eaten. I'm starving. And you're probably tired of me rambling. We'll see you at my next meal. Guys, here we are at meal two. It's probably close to what? Five o'clock almost. As you can see, I have a lot of tuna right here. I have a pouch of tuna on my wrap. There's also some cheese under there. Fat-free American cheese, some lettuce. Another pack of tuna on this sandwich. Two pieces of toast. Some American cheese, fat free, some lettuce, and another pack of tuna. And this big bowl of lettuce. There's a lot of lettuce, I didn't realize I had that much left. And then I have some coleslaw in here that looks amazing, I tasted it, it is awesome. And also to go with all this, I got some fries in the oven right now, they're finishing, they're, ooh, look at all that steam, they're finishing up right now. But that's my meal. I'm also having some Diet Dew. Oh. And we got Kitman down here. Oh, yeah. Kitman's having some Tent Me Tuna. Look at him go. He's so hungry. Say hey, bud. He doesn't even care. He's just going to town, guys. Look at him. He's balking for the games, Get too. Those games. Them games, Kitman. But this meal. Is about 877 calories here. Um, 125 carbs, 17 fats, and about yeah, 69 grams of protein. So that's my dinner, and then later we have uh, my junk bowl. So I still have about 300 calories left. I have some fats to to add in. Protein is just going to be whatever it is, and it's good enough for what it is now. 
but the, these carbs will definitely be going up into the 400s, probably close to 420 I imagine by the time I'm done. I'm probably going to have pop tart and maybe something else, we'll see, we'll see, because I cut my serving of ice cream in half, I think I mentioned that earlier. But yeah, that's, that's dinner, I mean I didn't really do much else today except for play Guild Wars, Guild Wars 2 guys. Give you an aerial shot of Kit. Look at him, he's like, stop bothering me, Dad. Jeez. But yeah, I'm gonna get eaten, guys. And then we'll see you probably in a couple hours. Probably, what, three hours? Two hours, two and a half hours, somewhere around there. Anyway, right, enjoy. Hey, guys. Alright, we're back with meal three. Um, junk bowl time, as you can see. Got the chocolate, chocolate protein, infant labs, chocolate, uh, way here. My normal mixture. No peanut butter again. I've been cutting back on the peanut butter just to keep my fat down a little bit to where I want it to be. But as you can see, it's a little frozen. I put it in the freezer a little bit. That's why I was kind of scraping it down here. But in it, as always, I have my 5 or one cereal. One serving of the honey, squ honey squares. Then we have uh, over here my Cap'n Crunch, Christmas Crunch, one serving of that, and then we have one and a half servings of the Chex Mix Muddy Buddies uh, Brownie Supreme. I finished the bag off. I only usually only have one serving, but I just wanted to see how much was left, and there was actually a serving and a half, so I need to open a new bag up, guys. So I think I'm either going to go with Cookies and Cream, Snickerdoodle, or Peppermint Bark. Those are the only three flavors I currently have up, up in my cupboard here. There's my party cake peeps, but right there I'm probably going to go with the cookies and cream that I have stuffed in, up in there already. But back in my room I have like, I don't know, 10 or 12 bags of these Chex Mix uh, Muddy Buddies. Because they, at the at Walmart they were in the clearance section and they had coupons on them and was a dollar off and they were already marked for a buck fifty a bag, so I only made a fifty cents, so I, I got a lot. But also, to this, a Chips Ahoy cookie, of all things, right? And I said I was going to try one of my new Pop-Tarts. There they are, the Wildberry Blossom. There it is. Looks awesome. There's the box one more time. These are 200 calories for one, but they look awesome. They're even made with real fruit, baked with real fruit, I should say. I will probably put it in a toaster. I don't know. We'll see you later. But that will go back up here in my cupboard if I can get it back in there. There we go. Boom. The sugar cookie one down here. I still have a few of those left. Oh, there's my cut from Kitman. He was fighting with me earlier. Um, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay up there. There we go. All my other junk. Lots of candy bars. A lot of stuff I got for free. But also to this, as always, as always, one serving of ice cream. Well, usually it's two servings, but today it's just one. And it's the party cake. About halfway through it, so I imagine another week or so of, of nitpicking it, it'll be done. And then I'll probably start working on, um, I don't know, one of these ED flavors I just got. Because I want to save the Yingling flavors for on Saturdays. And that's just a method to my madness. There's a reason for it, which we don't really need to get into. But, I believe everything totaled up to be about a little over a thousand calories. 1,073 uh, right there. 163 lovely carbs, I believe. 33 fats and 63 more proteins. And there's my totals. Now, pretty good. And if you add up the macros separately, I guess it's considering if you assume the fiber is 2, that's what it came out to be. My goal is 3,200, so I mean, there's some differences there. But it's close enough for me. I'm happy with it. I'm not going to complain. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much my day. Um, there's Kitman on the router, like usual. It's a spot. Guarding my sweet potato and my red, yeah, my red potatoes. Say, hey, buddy. Yeah. So you're gonna eat some ice cream later too, aren't ya? He loves his ice cream just as much as me. Kit. Yeah.
<laughs> but that that's the day. I spent the day, like I said earlier, playing Guild Wars 2 a little bit, and I actually was playing uh, DC Online. I used to play that when it first came out, and I just kind of got back into it today, just to see how things change, just because I kind of want to play, play something different, but yeah. So I'm going to get to eating this, and I will see you guys next time. Maybe I will uh, do something during the week or something. Nothing too crazy I eat during the week anyway, but... Typical, typical, typical stuff. But yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.